what's going on YouTube. So, talking about locks on the lock channel. Go figure. Um, so it's been a while since I've done a lock update. Well, it hasn't been too long, but <clears throat> I think the last time I talked about not getting uh, retightening for as long as I possibly could because I wanted my uh, my roots to grow in and get a little thicker and and um, you know um, I felt like I wasn't that I was getting it done too often. I feel like when I get when I get my interlocking done because i have interlocks which is not palm rolled it's when the lock is actually taken from the root and 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 woven in on itself so it gets tightened from the root out um with a with a with a um like a little hook um interlocking is very similar to sister locks not as um not a, with the size but far as technique is concerned it uses a tool to manipulate the the lock to achieve um the lock but then it's there is still some 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 nature that has to happen to for them to come together whatever i'm sure you all know what i'm talking about but um yeah so i settled on that technique because um i have really fine thin hair and when i used to get my locks done it's over two years now my my hair was like really short um, I would get them done and then I think that first retightening, they like all came out and it was like, well, what did I pay for? <laughs> so, um, I finally went to another lactician and she was like, we going to get you right. So she, we settled on interlocking. I was like, I don't know what that is, but okay. She was like, you can wash your hair literally the next today. And I said, cool. You know, so, oh, of course I waited six weeks before I washed my hair, but when I did it, nothing happened. It was, I was able to do it without them coming out so i've been doing that now for two years now i haven't had a re-tightening since my two-year anniversary so i am two years in the game well two years in now one month um and look at these things look at them they have length they got color look at me now you know <laughs> two years ago i was like you know i was trying to convince myself that it was something that i should stick with because you you just don't know where you're going with the process. I watched videos, but you know your own hair on your head. I have like you know really finicky hair. It's like really thin. And I'm always been that way since the day I was born. So I was just like, man, what are these gonna look like? And every time I would get them retightened, and they would just be like little little rat tails. <laughs> it's like you know I didn't I didn't I was just seeing it. But no matter what I became attached because they were attached to me so i was like ah oh, these my little homies these my little buddies and i stuck with them and then i went through a phase where um the portion that was uh palm roll like all broke off in the front like i would just like they were just snapping off and i believe that prior to me um getting my hair starting to lock it up i had been going through whatever because that hair was just like it didn't stick around the back did, but the front was like really damaged for some reason. I think it had a lot to do with, I used to um, sponge roll my hair before, prior to getting locks and the hair was just like really thin. Um, but since then it just get, keeps getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Although still a thin grade of hair, it's thicker than it was when I started. So the base of my locks are thicker now than they were when I started, which is always a plus. They're getting thinner. It's probably not a good thing, but my hair has definitely gotten thicker since I've been locked. So that's a good thing. I've got the hat on because in the process of getting locks, I discovered that I could um <clears throat> wear hats. Most men are probably like, yeah, well, most people are probably like, oh, what's what's so new about that? I never had a hat my whole adult life because I've always had a big ass head. Like I wear a 10 size 10 hat. You know, if you know anything about hats, um, <laughs> this hat is not the biggest, but it fits, you know, um, yeah. So I found the DXL, which is a big and tall men's store and their 4X or their, um, Ralph Lauren, um, the polo, uh, one size fit all hats 
fit my head. Not the one size fit all from like a Macy's. It's specific one size fit all from the Big and Tall Minster. They actually fit. And so I bought everything they had for that season. So hopefully next season they get some different ones in there. Because I was, I was like went hat crazy. Like I like this hat. You all have seen my other hats. Since I'm talking about hats, let me go get my favorite hat. All right, so I like this hat. This is like an everyday hat. I could wear it like this. I could put it on backwards, you know, rock it like that. But this is my hat. This, this is my favorite hat right here. I love this hat. I love this hat. I love this hat with the locks. I love, I had a little bow and I had it. I added some fur up there because I'm just, I'm, I'm that kind of guy. You know, I like things to be different. It might be for all the niggas, for all the Negroes, for all the black folk, <laughs> for all the people with this hat. But mine is going to be just a little bit different. You know, that's just how I roll. So, yeah, I like this hat. But, yeah, so my locks. So, like I said, I, I said I wasn't going to um get them retightening until I couldn't stand it anymore. I can still stand it, you know, so um, I'm going to keep going. In front of my hair, I remember these locks used to be like, if you go back and look at my pre, like, like that was what I had. And I used to think I was doing something, but now look at that, like, like it's t almost touching my eye, you know, so. Like on the side here, these things are like beneath my ear, like, that's amazing. You know, it looks looks a bit grown in. I'm not even gonna use the word rough. It looks a bit grown in, but that's what hair does. Other than that, I am very much happy with um the progress of my locks. And like I said, my locks are interlock, which means they take them and they weave them in at the base. But um, yeah, that's my that's, that's my hair. So I'm going to do a quick rotation, and then we're going to talk about my new favorite product. So this is the front. This is the side. This is the back. This is the other side. I don't know if you can see it. That's it. And then it's the front again. Okay, so. Yeah. So that's my locks. Uh, I'm. 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 Like I said, two years, one month in the game. Things are looking good. So I was out of shampoo. And I was like not washing my hair. Because. Uh, like I said, I just wanted things to settle in. But I was like. I was, I was in my car actually one day. And I was like. Who the hell in here smell like they just came from the gym? And I realized it was my locks. They had become a little bit um odiferous, you know. So I had to quickly go find myself some good shampoo. Um, and I was in there reading, 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 looking at everything they had. And I finally picked up one. I said, I'm going to just try it. So I picked up this. It's the um, Whole Blend by Garnier. It's the strengthening shampoo, the ginger herb recovery. Hopefully you can see it. Um, and it was buy one, get one free. So this one, and then I got this one, which is the coconut oil. Um, it says tamed and controls frizzy hair. So I'm guessing it kind of like has like a conditioning effect with the oils to kind of like minimize the frizziness but it's sulfate free paraffin free all that blah 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 that's kind of like um industry standard at this point for the for it not for shampoos not to have that but you don't want ones that are, are still really uh, like a detergent -y shampoo and it kind of like dries your hair out and for the most part these the smell is amazing like which fragrance I know is drying, it has alcohol in it, but if you're going to use something, you don't want it to smell like weird. That smell, smell amazing, um, 
and it doesn't have like a perfumey like a woman smell it has like a like a good just a wholesome smell it just smells good you know um and it does does it does a really good job of um getting my locks clean um and it keeps the moisture in they feel soft you know they were feeling like really dry prior to me washing them but afterwards they were they were they were pretty soft i did have to oil my hair of course you of course you do have to kind of like re-establish <clears throat> re your natural oils in your hair but as far as cleanliness goes it it washed out pretty good it didn't leave too much residue um and i could um really appreciate it so try the whole blends shampoos by garnier um this is not an endorsement but it is definitely a testimony for me having used them and appreciate their effects on my hair um so like i said these are my locks two years one month what do y'all think are you gonna go back and see what they look like I, I wish i could um put in a clip like right here of what they look like but i, I I'm, I'm not gonna do that <laughs> I might put the link in the description box below of what my hair looked like the first video I ever made on YouTube. Now that I will do. I'll put the first video I ever did of my locks and you can compare what they look like. I'm not going to keep you all long. I just wanted to come and do a quick update and show you um, that I still have not gotten them um, retightening and I'm okay with it. Uh, my roots are definitely grown in, but they're, they're thicker and I, I, I'm happy about it. I probably in the new year, like the first week of the new year, I'll go and get a retightening but for right now things are good so on that note happy growing peace love and um i hope everybody have a wonderful um christmas holiday um just a holiday in general kwanzaa hanukkah whatever you celebrate just enjoy each other's company um if you get in an argument with your family, be grateful for it. Because there's some people who aren't here to even have those types of moments. Just be just be thankful. Wake up and just say thank you. But in the meantime, peace and blessings. And I will talk to you all later.